Hello, good morning students. I hope you all are fine. So we have completed our reader chapter and today we are going to start with section B. Today we are going to study about diary entry. So without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Hello everyone. So we are going to start with a new topic that is diary entry. Fine, so today we are going to study about the format and example of diary entry. So the first question that arise in our mind is what is a diary or how do we write a diary? So diary writing is a personal account of someone's life. Diary is a very personal thing that belongs to that particular person. He or she is free to express his or her emotions in that diary. So diary is a very personal thing that belongs to that particular person only. It is written in an informal style where people freely express themselves. So diary is written in informal style. There is no formal format of it. It is just written to express your feelings. You are free to write whatever you feel like. Okay. So diary is a very personal thing that is maintained by that particular person. And the person is free to express his or her emotions in the diary. So I can say that diary is an informal piece of work. It is not formal. It is informal. You are free to write whatever you are feeling. Okay. And it is created by writing about memorable moments, random thoughts and special activities. Whenever we are very happy or something good happens to us, we normally record it in the form of diary. We are free to write our emotions in that diary. So diary is a very personal thing that belongs to that particular person and it is written to express his or her emotions. Okay. Writing a diary. A diary is a book in which one keeps a record of events and experiences. So diary is a normal book in which one records events and experiences both bad and good. You can record any type of experience. So it is just written to express your emotions so that you can uh, remember it after a long time. So it is a personal thing and you are free to write your emotions in it. A diary extract or entry is a passage that describes this information. So in diary, you are describing your emotions, your feelings, what are you feeling and you are free to write whatever you feel like. Why do I write them? To understand myself better. I write a diary to express my emotions, my feelings. Okay. In your diary, you can record your feelings, observations and reactions about different experiences. Like if you are very happy, you can write it down in a diary. If you are sad, you can write down your emotions in a diary. It is a way to understand yourself better. It is a very personal piece of writing that is written in an informal manner. Okay, so in all I can say that diary is a very personal thing that belongs to that particular person. It is written in informal manner where the person expresses his or her feelings, emotions. Fine. So it is an informal and personal piece of matter that you write to express your emotions. Okay. It is written to understand yourself better and to recall the good and bad moments after few times. Okay. So it is a personal thing and it is written in informal manner. There is no particular format and you are free to express your emotions in your diary. Now this is the format. One more thing students, whenever we are attempting the writing section, we need to enclose the whole content in the box. So the box is very important. So for diary entry also you have to draw a box. Now why box is important? It is important because it makes the content looks more impressive and more clear. So whenever you are attempting any sort of uh, writing, whether it's diary or notice, you should enclose it in a box. Okay, then first of all you write day and date. Then you leave a blank line and after that on the next line you write time. If you want you can write the time here also. 
okay in fr- just at the side of day and date remember always remember it is very important to mention day date and time so that you can recall it afterwards okay so first you have to write day and date and then time after that you have to leave a line then the opening is done by dear diary we write dear diary okay then we leave a blank line after that body is there in body you are free to express your emotions your feelings then you have to leave one line and at the end it is the writer's name or signature okay so this is the format and you have to draw it in your notebook okay features of a diary entry make sure you have included all of these in your writing first thing is date as i've told you you always need to have a date in your diary because when you are older and you see the diary entry you will never know what day it was was if you didn't write it so it is very very important to write date day and time so that you can recall it afterwards okay introduction every diary has to start with introduction it tells you what you are writing about so introduction is important in everything so you need to introduce in your diary also then feelings in any part of your diary you must include your feelings so feelings are very important we are writing it to express our feelings only right give detailed information about places objects people events so whatever the thing is your feelings should be clear and you should be able to portray them in the diary it is very very important it is written for the purpose for this purpose only the main purpose is to express your feelings in the diary okay avoid describing what is not needed your diary has to include personal touch so that you are going to remember it afterwards don't write what you are not interested in reading afterwards you have to just write what you are interested you have to just express your feelings so it is very very important to express your emotions and feeling next is chronological order all diaries are in chronological order that means it is in the order that it is happened if it is not in chronological order then it wouldn't make a sense for example if i am writing a diary about my picnic so it should be in order how it started where i went what all activities i have done and then coming back then only it will have sense if i am writing i went to so and so place then i came back then i am writing about how my journey started then it will be useless so it should be in a particular order so that you can memorize it afterwards so in all you can say that diary is a personal piece of information that is written in order to express your feelings and emotions okay now i hope it is clear now the example this is uh this is a page from nandini's diary as you can see the format it is enclosed in the box date and day are written here and time is written just at the side then opening salutation is there dear diary and at the end signature is also there so format is proper okay this is your class work so this is a diary that is written by nandini she is expressing her joy as her father has gifted him a bicycle okay I have been asking papa for a bicycle for over 3 months now. All my friends have one and I am the only one who walks to school. Today morning as I got ready to leave the house, I saw a bright blue bicycle near the gate of our house. It has a red ribbon on the handlebars. Surprised to see a cycle, I rushed out of the house and saw papa standing near the gate. He had smile on his face as he handed me a blue helmet. He said, "Ride safely to school, Nandini." I couldn't believe the bicycle was mine. I rushed to hug him and has no words to express how happy I was. I felt then my friends on their bicycles passed by my house. I rushed to show them my bicycle. They were thrilled too. I was so happy. I had already learned how to ride a bicycle. I put on my helmet, took my school bag and zoomed away. Nothing could wipe the smile off my face today. 
okay so these are the personal emotions that nandini is expressing she is very happy to see the bicycle so in all a diary entry is a personal piece of information that is written to express your feelings and emotions okay so this is also your class work thank you class